if you're interested in IT, challenges in IT, anything IT related, then this is where you should be. So I'd like you to like, subscribe, so you can get new videos, because as much as they have IT challenges coming up, and they come my way, I deal with them. So, today, I'm starting with uh, UPS. It's a common problem in Africa. We have UPS power issues, and we make use of UPS. Now, small UPS, and their batteries run out. I will show you how to successfully change a UPS battery today. So let's get to it. I have already, this is a blue gate. It's a blue gate. There, that's the bottle number 1500. And um, I have already uh, taken it apart. Uh, not totally apart, but I've removed the casing and I have removed these two here that are connected. So, this is why it's connected to the blue. The blue is always at the left, and then the black is at the. The blue is always at the left, and the black is at the right. So I'm going to be taking this out. Uh, it's kind of going to be a bit difficult doing this with one hand, and can't hold my phone, and at the same time uh, take this apart. So. I'll just have to, you know, pause for a while. Okay, so we're back. And uh, bringing this out, don't do that with one hand. Always make sure you do it with two hands so you can, uh, uh, there is a, like a, there you have, you have that there. This helps to hold this in. So when pulling it out, you pull it with two hands, you open this and then pull it out. When pulling this out also, when pulling this out also from here you have to do that with two hands this is the connectors for the buttons in front for the buttons in front and then the light now after you've done all of this when you pull this out uh, be careful to make sure that you it's not connected to the wall or is not connected to any form of electricity and also I am supposed to have done this before now but as soon as you take off the case, what you need to do for safety reasons is take this out. You need to take this out so current doesn't flow from the batteries. When you do that, you also do that here and pull that out. So we have this outside here and what we're going to be doing is, if you could look at that, you have to raise this up and then pull that out and you do the same here. Raise, raise it up and pull that out I'll get back so once we've done that we have the whole of this here where you have the fuse and all of that uh, you make sure your transformer is still intact everything is properly coiled uh, in this video uh, I'm going to just uh, concentrate on changing the batteries and nothing more uh, there are other things that could cause your UPS to be failing which we'll treat on other videos but on this video we're just going to concentrate on changing the batteries um, um, let me know in the comments below uh, challenges you are having with your UPS and uh, I'll look at what I have here I'll look at what I have in my in my workshop and see how we could do that together uh, whatever the challenge would be always know there is a solution okay all right so now uh, i had to flip the ups uh, to fall by the side you have to take out the screws so you can get out the batteries okay so that is out and we have these batteries here as you can see it's a blue gate batteries uh, usually these are supposed to last about um, they're supposed to last about uh, 15 minutes 
uh, that's like the minimum any UPS should last once it starts going lower than 15 minutes after your power is out depending on the kind of load that is connected to your UPS then you should know that the batteries are due to be changed uh, just like I said depending on the kind of load that you have uh, I would change these batteries and put them with something even better uh, Blue Gates is a strong UPS with their batteries of good qualities if you have the good ones but I know better batteries and uh, for my that blue gate right there the small one uh, came with uh, an inferior battery it was staying about five minutes now after we have power outages my system my workstation still stays on for about 30-35 uh, minutes and to me that's good and that's just one battery of 12 amps 12 volt uh, 7 amps uh, I would have showed you how to test with your multimeter but I left mine at home and I'm in my workshop now so what we'll do would have to run these batteries in without testing I trust my battery so even without testing them I know they are going to be good okay so those are my batteries just got them out and uh, there are different kind of connections you'd have on uh, UPS the parallel and serial connections so for your batteries so but uh, we'll be going into that later but on this video we're just installing batteries if you want such videos let me know on the comments and I'll do them I get jobs like this like almost regularly okay so i'm done connecting it make sure when connecting your screws here you make sure they are not too tight make sure they are not too tight uh, and also your batteries these wires and then here should be the last wires you connect preferably connect the black one first and then before the live wire once you do that, we'll power it up and see how it goes. Now, just for you to know that the batteries are good, they're solid. When you connect them, you're supposed to get a spark. Okay, uh, sparked already. And I got my spark already before I brought my camera. So, it's good. Then, you can power it up. There, it lights up, it's already using the backup power. So what we need to do now is keep these for uh, 24 hours. You are not supposed to use this for 24 hours. I'm not going to put on my case or anything. I'll just leave it be for 24 hours by the next day. By tomorrow, it should be ready for the client. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Most of all, hit me on the comments on what you would want.